Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, wow, did you hear that wind last night? That was crazy. Uh, it kept, I don't know, kept hearing the trees rubbing together and kept me awake. And then I almost fell asleep and one of the doors in the bedroom started to open because of the pressure of the wind. And it was like, and I'm like, oh my, what is that? So, yeah, I didn't sleep very well last night because the, the door opening really messed me up. So, let's see, I went fishing yesterday. And and uh, if you want, I can send a, you know, send a picture of the fish. But I went fishing yesterday and I looked down the road and there's two kids and an adult walking down the road. And I'm like, I recognize that. Right? I recognize the little one. Wow, sorry, there's a fly. And it turns out it was Taryn. So yeah, Taryn and her brother and her grandma came down and we talked for a while. And I got to show them the big fish that I caught. So yeah, yesterday was kind of cool. Alright, so I hope every, you're doing good. And uh, today, the book I'm going to read today is David. A lot of glare. David gets in trouble. There we go. When David gets in trouble, he always says, No, it's not my fault. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Uh, do I have to? I don't know, that looks like pretty good breakfast. Eggs and orange juice? Where's the bacon though, right? Oh, I forgot. He's going to school in his underwear. You know Forget to put your pants on. My dog ate my homework. Um, just understand now that that excuse will never work. I couldn't help it. I had to be the silly one in the group. That sounds like me. I was hungry, so I ate the dog treats. That's probably not a good idea. But the cat liked it when I pulled her tail. No, no cat will ever like that, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it slipped. No, I have red juice all over your white carpet. Uh, but Dad says it. You see the soap in the mouth? Yeah. I had that happen one time when I was little, I think. Yeah, I didn't do it again. That soap was nasty tasting. Excuse me. I think he burped at the table. Look at he burped so loud the flowers bent. No, it wasn't me. I didn't get into the cake. Yeah, look at his face. Yes, it was me. So, yeah, by the time he got into bed, he started feeling bad about his, uh, his bad decisions that day. So, he fessed up. I'm sorry. 
Oh, look, one of my fingers. Sorry, it looked like I was picking his nose. We don't do that anymore, do we? We're almost kindergarten. I love you, Mom. The end. Hey, speaking of moms, I uh, called my mom a couple days ago, and she's still doing good. And uh, one of the things she does is uh, she takes laps around her driveway. Now remember, she's like 82, 83 years old, so she walks up and around her driveway uh, for exercise. And... Um, it's good. Remember, she was she was sick a lot. Well, you don't know. She was sick a lot last year. So it's good to hear her uh, up and around and moving and, and staying healthy. So, all right. Uh, I miss you guys. I hope uh, you're doing well. And um, mom and dad, if there's anything you need, anything that... Uh, uh, we can help with like clothes, shoes, food, things like that. Um, uh, get a hold of me, and I can put I can put it in the ears of other people who can help. Okay, so please get in touch. Um, you know, nothing is. I never I never share it with any other parents or anything. I'll share it with my bosses, and um, we'll get it done. Well, uh, I'll try to help you, or the school will try to help you in any way they can. All right? So, um, be good, be safe. I'll see you tomorrow.